Today we're going outside to the backyard. We're going to fire up that grill and we're going to have a good old fashioned picnic lunch. Why don't you grab your kids and your family and come along and join us. Hello friends and welcome to another program together. I'm your host Jill Morricone and we hope you have your kids and your whole family there ready to go on a picnic with us here in the kitchen. But first I want to introduce you to my special guest here with me. Her name is Ozella Head and she comes to us all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Welcome Ozella. We're so glad to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Now why don't you tell our friends at home before we have our picnic lunch <laughs> a little bit about your ministry, Made Whole Ministry. Okay, we, uh, we go around, Made Hope Ministry, we go around mm -hmm. teaching people about healthy, nutritious mm -hmm. cooking classes, mm -hmm. and we also minister to the uh, spiritual part also, because mm. when we're ministering, we just don't want to leave one part and not do the other. Absolutely. So we want to make sure that the Made Hope Ministry, people are being made whole. That's right. So um, also we take care, of, remember, Christ took care of the spiritual. Uh, physical, physical needs, needs first before That's the right. spiritual need. Mm -hmm. So this is what we mm -hmm. tried to do because mm -hmm. Jesus said, follow me. Mm -hmm. And so Christ is our example in all things. That's right. So we want to be an example also for the people. Amen. That's right. And I think it's so important to deal with those physical needs. Exactly. Because how are people even interested in the gospel or anything that you have yes. to say? Exactly. You know, unless they're, they're helped and they realize, you know, I feel better and this person really cares about me. And then, yes. Yeah. That makes a person feel interested. so much better. That's right. Now you go around and you do um, cooking schools and all kinds of stuff like that, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Now you also do catering. Tell yeah. us about that. Well, Carol and I, we cater together. We cater okay. weddings. We cater fun. any special occasion. Uh -huh. And, you know, we have so much fun when we're together <laughs> because, like I said again, you know, I do the foods and yes. she decorates. So, oh. you know, we just work as a team. It's a good team. Yeah. Yeah, Carol's such a special lady. Yeah. She came with you here and she's a really special <laughs> and lady. And her husband. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we don't want to leave out my own precious husband. That's right. You travel, yeah. the four of you go yes. together and do your stuff together. Exactly. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. <laughs> What's the biggest wedding you catered? Uh, the I'm biggest putting wedding. You on the spot here. Well, the biggest wedding was Carolyn's two daughters. Oh. Yeah. It was so much fun because we had such a variety. And, you yeah. know, being vegetarian, people yeah. think, well, you know, if you're a vegetarian, what do you eat? Yeah. They think you only eat vegetables. Oh. But <laughs> like when, a rabbit in the yeah. garden or something. <laughs> so when we teach about nutritious cooking classes, yeah. people are like, I didn't know all of this oh. stuff even exists. Oh, so, God, you know. That's right. It's a blessing, Jill. Mm -hmm. it's it, it is really a blessing to know that God loves us so much that mm -hmm. He gives us everything we need and more besides. That's right. You know? That's right. So today... Um, All we need is to go in the backyard and yes. have a picnic. <laughs> so we, that's what we want to do, show the people today how to do some healthy barbecuing. Okay? Good. Smoke grill barbecuing. And Good. Some things that we come up with. And yeah doing a transition again yes we want right. to show healthy mm -hmm. ways of barbecuing that's or right. grilling that's whatever right. so. yeah so let's fire up the grill and get going reading our first recipe for the smoked grilled burger you need two pounds veggie beef crumbles two pounds veggie protein one tablespoon beef style seasoning three tablespoons hickory smoke powder and four tablespoons liquid smoke Okay, that sounds really interesting. That's easy enough. Yeah. Because first of all, we have everything before us, okay? Okay. Now we're going to heat up our grill. Yes. Okay? Now, do you do it on the grill actually like in the backyard or you well, do you grill on the stove? On or? the stove because you okay. know this is so easy to do. Mm -hmm. Now, but now mm -hmm. you can do it on the okay. grill outside. Okay. But this is so simple. Yeah. And you know what? Once you grill it inside, then you can take it outside. There you go. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Sit outside and enjoy the picnic lunch. Exactly. That's right. So I'm going to put my gloves on. There you go. And I don't want to be too messy when it comes yeah. to this because we're going to have to make some round burgers, yes. okay? Yes. Now this is a pound of, what's this one here? This one is the uh, crumble, the burger crumble. Okay. And this one is the beef um, 
style like um, okay. for burgers, okay? okay. You can now, get them in the grocery store or a health food store? No, you can buy all this in the regular grocery, grocery store. store. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay now this is uh, smoke, uh, liquid smoke. Now what's that? Liquid smoke is a flavoring that okay. smoke the burgers, girl. Mmm, mm. that's awesome. This is a powder smoke. And so, they're just called liquid smoke and powder mm -hmm. smoke. What this, do you buy them? This is a, it's basically it's a yeast. It's a smoke yeast. Uh huh. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And all we're doing, Jill, is just adding more flavor to the mm -hmm. burgers. That's okay? right. That sounds good. <laughs> I'm all for that. <laughs> and we're just gonna add a little okay. of the beef style seasoning. Okay. Okay. Now at this point, we're ready to mix everything. Okay. We're gonna mix it all up. Yeah. Now, now that hickory, the the smoke flavor, mm -hmm. is that from grocery store? Grocery or store, okay. yes. It's from grocery store. And too. Okay. now the beef like um, season, you have to get that at a health food okay. store because okay. uh, at one point in time, I think Kroger did carry it. Mm -hmm. But go to your Krogers and take the, you know, take go to your the, grocery store and ask them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Take the labels and show yeah. them and ask See them if can they do it. Right? Can they get those mm -hmm. particular products in? Because mm -hmm. again, you want to try to bring. Recipe, I mean, uh, seasonings close to your home, okay? Right. So you don't right. have to drive for because you know what? <laughs> we live <laughs> in a world now, everything mm -hmm. is fast, mm -hmm. fast paced. Mm -hmm. So riding way across town or somewhere, mm -hmm. you don't want to do that. Right. So right. what you want to do is try to get products close to your That's store. That's right. Okay? That's right. So, viewers, if you have a problem, just ask for the store manager and see can they get those items in for you, okay? Yeah, that's right. All right. It can't now, hurt to ask. That's right. Yeah. Now, Jill, I think the grill is heated up okay. enough. Okay. Okay. Now, at this particular point in time, we're going to form a burger. Okay. All right. We're going to mix it all up. And if you like large size burgers, small, uh -huh. whatever type of burger you like, and you see it sticks, holds it, it very holds well. It holds very well together. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I like right. a real... It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks perfect. Okay. Yeah. And we just grill those burgers. Okay. And you know what? Is it on? Is it on? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. On. It's just not quite warm yet. Yeah. Yeah. But I want, I want the viewers to get the general idea, yes, okay? Yes, that's right. So we form the patties. Mm -hmm. And we, you make, you know... The size pattern that you would like, okay. Okay? okay. And once you finish shaping the burgers mm -hmm. and grilling them, if you have any left over, yeah. you can always freeze them. Oh, you can put them in the freezer. Freeze They'll them. be okay. Yes. Cool. That's now, a time-saving tip. Exactly. And, mm -hmm. and if you if you want, you can make all the burgers ahead of time. Oh, that's good. Okay. I like Shape that. them, mm -hmm. put mm -hmm. them in the bags, and freeze them. Without grilling them. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. Without grilling. Okay. But with me. It doesn't matter. Basically, <laughs> doesn't I last. like <laughs> I like to grill all my burgers at yes, one time, and then yeah. I'll separate them, okay. put them in Ziploc bags, okay. and just label them, and you mm -hmm. know, and pull them out, yeah. and just you know, heat them up a little bit, and you That's got right. a real good burger. That's right. Oh so, yeah, perfect. But I mm. want the viewers to you know to yeah. really see what it's like yeah. to have a smoked burger inside. Okay. Oh yeah. And That's then go outside awesome. with the family. Yeah. Now, once they're dark on one side, you just flip them over. Yes. We just, mm -hmm. you know, let them grill on one side yeah. and then you turn them over. Yeah. And then... You eat them. <laughs> yes. But not by themselves. No, that's right. Now, remember, this is a cookout. That's right. A picnic. That's right. Okay? Mm. So, we're cooking out, but actually we're cooking in. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, so. I was just thinking it. We're grilling inside. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, that's real cute. <laughs> okay, so once we grill the yes. burgers, once we finish the grilling the mm -hmm. burgers, Jen, uh, uh -oh. Jill. Jill, okay? <laughs> yeah. Once we finish Jill, uh, grilling the burgers, okay, we're going to turn them over, uh -huh. both sides, let it brown, uh -huh. okay? After that, we will take those off okay. and we'll put them on a platter, okay? And you serve them with your, your buns or your yes. whatever, with your lettuce and, and oh, tomato yes. and... And don't forget the cheese. That's right. <laughs> but the homemade cheese, okay? There you go. All right. Your mayo and yes. yeah. pickles. Yeah, there you And go. we do have pickles without vinegar. Yeah, that's okay? right. Yeah. So we serve them, you know, just like you do um, the fast food type burgers, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. only healthy and nutritious. That's right. Okay. Oh, yeah. And you can feel good about eating it. Yes. And that's what I like. Exactly. Yeah. So 
this at this particular point in time, I hear him sizzling, okay. but I want to just get a view as a general idea of how we, you know, put That's them right. together and all. That's right. But okay. this is not all. We add, we're going to add some more items to this to show you. Okay? We're going to make potato salad. Yes. Ooh, let's go to that recipe for potato salad. Okay. For the potato salad, you need four cups cooked red potatoes, one cup mm. vegan mayo, one half cup pickles, vinegar free variety, three tablespoons chicken style seasoning, one half teaspoon celery seed, one tablespoon diced red onion, one celery stalk diced, two chopped green onions, three tablespoons diced pimentos, one tablespoon lemon juice, one quarter teaspoon sea salt, and one pound of firm tofu. Well, I love potato salad, and I think it's perfect for our picnic. Okay. Yeah. That's what we really like to do, have potato salad, homemade potato Absolutely. salad. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Show us what we do here. Okay. Now, Jill, my mother-in-law taught me one thing. Okay. She told me, she said, Ozella. I hope more than one thing. <laughs> <laughs> about potato salad. Okay. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> okay. But about potato salad. Okay. She said, when I was making potato salad, it was good, but she mm -hmm. said she don't like her potatoes all lumpy. Yeah. So she told me, she said, now, when you make potato salad, always mash the potatoes. Now, that's a new trick. Yeah. But you know what? Ever since she told me that, I've always mashed the potatoes. Uh -huh. And it turns out so creamy. You get that creamy consistency. Yeah. And you know what? Everybody likes it. Yeah, Everybody. That's awesome. So, we're going to show our viewers today how to do a hometown, home style potato salad, okay? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. With the mashed potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> that's We're a good trick, she taught you. Them. Yeah. Very nice. So these are just potatoes mm -hmm. cut and peeled and cooked. Right. And yeah. you let the potatoes cook until tender. Good. Okay. Are they cool or warm? No, they're warm. They're warm. Okay. And you know what? This is this is what you want to do. You always want to do it while they're mm -hmm. warm. Mm -hmm. Not when they get cold because yes. they're hard to mash and Absolutely. manage them. That's okay, right. the first thing we're gonna um, add is our mayo. All right. And so you can do a uh, home style, home, mm -hmm. you know, your homemade. Mm -hmm. Or you can buy some without the vinegar. Okay. okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good. All right. I'm gonna add our pickles. Okay. Without yeah. the vinegar. Now, you buy that at the health food store, or is there a special place to? I think the only place I've seen the pickles is without at the, the health food store. Mm -hmm. Okay. Without the. Right. Or you could can your own. Yep. That's you can idea. do that. <laughs> Absolutely. But you know what, Jill? I made some. Um, I can some, what do you call them? Those, um, the ones you eat? I don't know. The dill pickles? The bill, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I canned those one time. Yeah. They were pretty good, Did, but yeah. I think I'll stick, stick to that Stick with the store yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. And you just added the celery and the onion, mm -hmm. right? And now we're having the chicken style seasoning. Yes. This is um, celery seed. Oh, that would give it a good flavor. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now we're going to mash this. Good. Okay. Get it all mixed up. Mm-hmm. And we also put our pimentos in here also. Yes. Okay. And I like the color. All right. Yeah. And you know what? You if you don't put pimentos in here, mm -hmm. you can also add uh, smoked uh, red uh, bell peppers. Yes. Okay. Have okay. you ever tried those? Once. Okay. But they were good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add our lemon juice. Okay. And that's freshly squeezed. Freshly oh, squeezed. Oh, yeah. That makes such a difference. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you, Jill. Yeah. Okay. When you ate potato salad, mm -hmm. did you have eggs in it, you know, when you used to eat it? When I used to eat it. Mm -hmm. Now I put tofu in okay. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. There yeah. you go. Yeah. There you go. Because yeah. you know what? Tofu makes the potato salad taste just yeah. like yeah. egg. Yeah. And so this is what, again, we want to mm -hmm. teach the viewers that with tofu, yeah. Is reversible in every recipe. That's right. You can Eggs, just put it in. Yes. And look, and I will, I like to always put half of it in and I mash it up. Yes. Real good. Yes. And then we're going to do, once we mash it up on the uh -huh. inside of the potatoes, mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to add uh, the last part of it. But we yeah. want some of it to show. And it look make it look like eggs. A little bit of chunk, not yeah. chunk, but just a little bit. Yeah. Little crumbs mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. So if a person right. doesn't know what they're eating, right, they can think it's eggs. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's really so, good. But this is what we yeah. wanted to, the people to see that. That's right. Healthy potato salad. Oh, yeah. And it looks <laughs> good. Do you know that? Okay. Oh, I want to try some. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not finished yet. Okay. I'll All have right. to wait. <laughs> okay. Because we have another recipe that we want to show the viewers also. Yeah, okay? that's right. All right. But in the meantime, we're going to put this aside. And then we'll show you at home what it looks like when it's all done. Right. When we're all done here. Okay. Yeah. Now, before we go to our baked beans, mm -hmm. um, why don't you tell our friends you have a cookbook? Just tell us about your cookbook, and then we'll go to our baked beans. Okay. My cookbook, my second cookbook, yeah. is Ozella's Homemade Vegetarian Recipe, oh. Nutritious and Delicious. Oh. So, you know, if you would like to have one of these books, it's then... It's hot off the press. Yes. They can also contact 3ABN. That's right. And 3ABN will put you in touch with me. That's right. Now you have what kind of recipes in your cookbook? Okay. I have this potato salad for Ooh, one thing. Oh, fun. There you go. I have the smoked burgers. Uh-huh. We have um, cheesecake. Oh, fun. Jill, we have something called uh, whip, dip, dream cake. Ooh. You will love this cake. Whip, dip, dream cake. Yes. That sounds really good. Without dairy at all. Yeah. And also, I have a coconut uh, pineapple cake. <gasps> My husband loved the coconut best of all. Yeah, oh yeah. But I love the Black Forest carrot cake. <sighs> and you know... <laughs> Man, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> in the middle, you bake this cake. Yeah. And you cut it in the middle and you put the whipped cream, non-dairy. Put the whipped cream in the yeah. middle and yeah. strawberries. <gasps> and you want the strawberries mm. dripping with their own juice. Mm -mm. So, mm -mm. I'm starting to lick my lips. <laughs> <laughs> These are recipes in my book. Yeah, okay. we got to get this book. All right. Yeah, that's okay. awesome. Well, we better make the baked beans before I get any hungrier, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's read that recipe. For Carol's baked beans, you need two tablespoons oil, one chopped onion, one chopped green or red pepper, one 15-ounce can of tomato sauce, two cans northern or pinto beans, one teaspoon sea salt, one teaspoon onion powder, one quarter teaspoon cumin, one tablespoon hickory smoke yeast, one tablespoon liquid smoke, one quarter cup molasses, three quarter cup honey, and two teaspoons of hot sauce, which is optional. Now, Zella, why do you call these Carol's baked beans? Because Carol put this recipe together, and oh. she always make baked beans for the, the cookouts that we have. Yeah. And they are superb. I said, oh. you've got to do this for 3ABN. She yeah. said, no, I'll let you do them. <laughs> <laughs> but so. we gave her credit in that we put her name up there, exactly. right? Exactly. That's right. They're Carol's beans. Yes, because yeah. I wanted people to know that this is Carol's special recipe. Yes. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Now, what right. are we putting them here? Okay. Now, we already have our oil in the pan, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's heated up pretty good. good. Okay. Now we're going to saute our onions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's heating <laughs> up. I can hear okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Now, Jill, well, we're going to saute the red peppers. Yeah. Okay. I like them with the color. All so right. much better than green or yes. something. Yes. Then we're going to add our salt to pull a little of the good. juices out of okay. the veggies. Okay. Mm hmm. Um, I think as long as you've got onions cooking, yeah. and people come over to your house, they think, oh, you're almost ready to eat, <laughs> and you don't have to be. It's just the smell of that, Exactly, you know? exactly. Yeah. Now, while this is sizzling, well, let's see. Turn it up a Turn it up a, up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to add our sauce, okay? Okay. Mm. Now, normally at home, would you sizzle it longer before you add the sauce? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would sizzle it a little longer. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and add it, okay. so give our viewers a general idea. Yes. Normally uh, you would saute it maybe five, ten minutes? Yeah, maybe ten. Ten, okay. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes. That gives you an idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Now this was tomato sauce? Yeah, this, this was Good. the tomato sauce, Good. okay? Yeah. Very now. nice. Okay, now we're going to add the beans. If now, you will pour the beans sure. for Sure. Do you okay. cook these beans ahead of time? You can, yes, you can cook these beans ahead of time. Uh, now, today we're just using the canned beans. Okay, mm -hmm. that's nice and easy. Yeah, but normally you let them soak, you know, soak them and yeah. Yeah. 
cook them, yeah. and you got them. And also, yeah. this recipe you can make ahead of time and freeze it also, Jill. So, Fun. yeah. And this is what I'm saying with your burgers, yeah. you know, the beans. Now, you can't freeze potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's never worked. <laughs> no, but your baked beans and your burgers, yeah. you can always freeze them, okay? So, mm -hmm. less work. And the only that's thing right. you have to make is the potato salad. That's Just right. dump it and that's put right. a few um, ingredients or seasonings together. Yeah. You got it. Was it was easy. Okay. And if you have a cookout with all your friends, you know, you just say, hey, you bring this, I'll bring this. Exactly. And then it's less work. Right. But you know, that don't always work at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't it work like that at your house? First of all, especially like on Sunday, uh -huh. I mean, Sabbath dinners, yeah. my family, church family, everybody always end up over at my house. Oh, and like everybody that. think I cook all the time, but right. I don't cook all the time. Yeah. But mm -hmm. they think, okay, we're going over to your house for Sabbath dinner. Yeah. And so... One person may come, then you see another car, another car, and so we just got a whole bunch of people. But guess what? The Lord always provides. Stretches the food. Yes. And yeah. Jill, I'm the type of person, I don't ever want anybody to be hungry yeah, because you right. know what? We can always pull food out of the freezer. That's right. And, you know, and make sure people have enough to eat. That's right. It's okay. important. That's now, right. Now, this you is... You have the gift of hospitality. Yes. I was just going to say, yeah, that's yes. right. It's a gift. Now, yeah. it's beginning to bubble, okay? I can see that. So we're going to add... All the Good. rest of our season. This is our cumin. Gives okay. it a little smoky flavor. Oh yeah. This is our garlic. Good. Okay. No, that was the onion powder there. That oh okay. The now this is our smoke. Yes. Okay. Good. That's smoke season. Yeah. All right. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. Really smell that smoke. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next, will you pass what me you that want? honey? Yeah. Okay. No, that no, looks that's like oil. Not, yeah. No, that's the smoke season. That, that's this the is honey. honey. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, that's not honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not thick enough. <laughs> not for the uh, <laughs> to be honey. No, no. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get all that okay. sweetener out of there. Yeah. Because once you start eating, you're like, yeah. whether well, it was half of the recipe left yeah. in it. That's right. You have a little bit of sweet, yeah. a little bit of, yeah. Now you want the smoked? No. Now, you, the we can dump, yeah, we can, it doesn't matter now okay. because we're at the peak where we're almost finished mixing everything okay. in. And we're almost full to the top yeah. there. Yeah, and this is a small skillet. Okay. But, again, we want, you know, to give the viewers a general idea of what it's like. Here's oh, your molasses. Yeah, we know that this is molasses. Yeah, now you use blackstrap or mm, grandma's no. or what um, type? It's not blackstrap. Blackstrap you want to use when you're... Your blood is low. Okay. 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 When you're anemic. But this isn't that. No. Type. This okay. is um, the molasses. I forget the name. I don't know. It's not a name right. brand, Jill. Just right. molasses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last. You want now this hot, hot sauce? sauce? Yeah. Okay. This is optional, but <laughs> okay. we like a little kick to it. There you go. <laughs> Just a little bit there. Yeah, a little mm. kick. Yeah. Oh, that's now, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something. Once you get it to this degree mm -hmm. here. You want to let it uh, simmer just okay. for a couple of minutes. You get all the ingredients incorporated in here mm -hmm. very well. Yes. And then you're going to pour it in a casserole dish. And oh, you want to bake it, okay? I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. No, this is not. This is baked beans. Yes. We got to bake it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is not just on the stove and right. into right. the plate. No. Right. So we're going to uh, pour it in a casserole dish. Uh -huh. And we're going to bake it, okay? How long is it baked for? Oh, uh, about... Mm, 20, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, 350 or? 350. 350, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it get a little skin on top? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> then Very you nice. know they're ready. Yeah. Okay. That's right. That's right. And oh, you know what? Yeah. We're going to serve this with that potato salad. Oh, yeah. With those burgers, <laughs> with those smoked oh, yeah. burgers. <laughs> that's right. Oh, okay. that sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, also, we want to make. Um, I mean, serve a little salad with this also. Okay, yeah. Okay. Like a fresh veggie salad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you can always just get all your vegetables together and make a salad, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. And That's also, right. we don't want to leave out the main thing, dessert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now. I'm always ready for dessert. <laughs> really and truly. When it comes to dessert, I'm really not a dessert person. Okay. But yeah. I love making desserts. Yeah, that's right. So uh, when I make desserts, I always make them, and my husband will say, um, Ozella, 
Why don't you eat desserts? Because <laughs> you're making them for other people, yeah, right? Right. Okay. Okay. Well, in just a moment, friends, we will be back. We're all out of time here. We will be back, and we want to show you all the final products, the things that we made here today. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay. We hope you've enjoyed cooking with Ozella. Now let's take a moment to review the barbecue-styled picnic recipes. For the smoked grilled burger, you will need two pounds of veggie beef crumbles, two pounds of veggie protein, one tablespoon beef style seasoning, three tablespoons of hickory smoke powder, and four tablespoons of liquid smoke. For the potato salad, you will need four cups of cooked red potatoes, one cup of vegan mayo, one half cup pickles, three tablespoons chicken style seasoning, one half teaspoon celery seed, one tablespoon red onion diced, one celery stalk diced, three chopped green onions, three teaspoons diced pimentos, one tablespoon lemon juice, one fourth teaspoon sea salt, one pound of firm tofu. For Carol's baked beans, you will need two teaspoons oil, one chopped onion, one chopped green or red pepper, one 15 ounce canned tomato sauce, two cans of northern or pinto beans, one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon onion powder, one fourth teaspoon cumin, one tablespoon hickory smoke yeast, one tablespoon liquid smoke, one half cup of molasses, three fourths cup of honey, and two teaspoons of hot sauce, optional. If you would like more information on how to contact Ozella, or if you would like to receive today's recipes, please write to 3ABN at Post Office Box 220, West Frankfort, Illinois, 62896, or call 1-800-752-3226. Welcome back, friends. We're here with our delicious picnic lunch, aren't we? All right, yes. Yeah. When we can't, rent, can't wait to get started eating look, this that's wonderful right. food. Let's look at what we made. We okay. started with our burgers. Yes, our smoked grilled burger. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> with the trimmings, it looks good. Good it's enough awesome. to eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we went to potato salad. Okay. Yeah. And then? That looks awesome. Our potato salad with all the pretty colors. Oh yeah, that's right. And then we're gonna top it all off with our baked, baked beans. beans. Carol's baked, baked beans. beans. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, thank you for coming, Ozella, and sharing your talents with our friends at home. Pleasure is all mine. That's right, we had a really good time. Yes, we did. Yeah. Well, we hope, friends, that you enjoy these recipes, that you take your family out in the backyard, that you have a picnic with your family, invite your neighbors over, witness to them, enjoy these recipes. And until we see you next time, may God bless you and keep you.